impact that staying in music has had on my life past high school. Um, obviously, like, I mean, it impacts me every day because I'm a band director, right? And so every day I get to be involved with music. But beyond that, um, I know that I, I would not be where I am, where I've had the relationships or have the relationships that I have had I not been involved with music past high school. I know that being involved in music has helped me have some incredible experiences um, and make some of the best friends that I could have ever made, honestly. Um, and, I, and I hope that everybody stays involved with music past, um, past high school be because of that, because there, is, there are so many other people that you, that you will have the opportunity to meet and have the opportunity to grow with. Um, you know, you, you have some of your closest friends in high school, but I, I would argue that um, you, you gain a lot more just by continuing to do music um, past high school.
Hey, Jasmine, that was great. Oh, hey, Biff, I didn't know you were doing the play too. Yeah, I didn't really have a choice. I'm one of the detention detainees that has to do the play for a get out of jail free card. Is that why you have to quit cheerleading? Yeah, plus I hit a football player. Yeah, that's kind of funny. How many football players get knocked out by cheerleaders? <laughs> I guess it is kind of funny. So you're not doing cheerleading anymore? They cut me. What? The new captain hates me. I mean, you're awesome. That's the problem. I can talk to her for you if you want. No, that's okay. I want to try drama now. That's cool. Yeah, and even better that there's a friend here too. Right on. So, uh, are you still looking for your Prince Charming? What? Oh, the monologue? Yeah, I guess so. I picked the monologue because that's how I feel sometimes. Where's my Prince Charming? Where's my happy ending? You see all of those movies and wonder why our lives can't be that way? I keep waiting for the movie moment where everything turns around for me. Where something amazing happens or someone comes along and sweeps me off my feet. <laughs> you were great. I mean, with the monologue, I really believed you were some princess. Very cool. Thanks. I practice a lot. I want to be good. You always are. I mean, you always did your best in cheerleading. You always had your routines down first, and I could always count on you to help the others. You are an, an awesome captain. Very inspiring. So, Biff? Yeah? Can I ask you something personal? Sure, shoot. Is what the football player said, was any of it true? No. Not a word. So, you're not? No. Cool. Really? Oh, I better go. Okay. See you at the drama practice tomorrow. Yeah. I think I just got bit by the theater bug. Hi, my name is Brandon Burns. I'm a 2018 graduate. I attend Alabama A&M University. I major in communications media with a concentration in production and a minor in graphic design. I am the mellophone section leader and second chair one ensemble for the French horns. I continue to do band because I was given the opportunity to do both baseball and marching band at the same time. My advice to anybody that's still undecided is to do auditions anyway because it's never too late to decide that you're gonna to go to a school. Hi, I'm Brianna Burton. I graduated class of 2018 and I go to Alabama A&M University. I'm working on my degree in psychology and I'm in the university's marching band. I'm the piccolo section leader and first year in Win Ensemble. And I chose to do band because it not only offers scholarship opportunities to help me pay through school, but it also gives me the chance to travel and represent my university in a positive way. So I encourage other young students that are in band to continue on with the band program as they get older. Thank you.
Incredible. One of the worst performances of my career, and they never doubted it for a second. How could I possibly be expected to handle school on a day like this? The key to faking out the parents are the clammy hands. They're a good, non-specific symptom, and I'm a big believer in it. Like, Kobe. You see, a lot of people will tell you that the phony fever is a deadlock, but you get a nervous mother, you could wind up in the doctor's office. And that's worse than school. Life moves pretty fast. If you don't look around once in a while, you can miss it. I did have a test today. That wasn't BS. It was on European socialism. I mean, who cares? I'm not European, and I don't plan on being European. They could be fascist anarchists, and it still wouldn't change the fact that I don't own a car. This is my ninth sick day this semester. It's getting pretty tough to come up with new illnesses. If I go for 10, I'm probably gonna have to barf up a lung. So I better make this one count. Hi, my name is Laura Zatelli, and I'm a 2010 graduate of Fayette County High School. And now I'm a clarinetist with the United States Navy Band in Washington, DC. I chose to pursue a career in music performance because there's nothing else that I love more. It can be quite challenging, but it is very rewarding.
stuck? What? I said you stuck here for the night? You got any money? No. Yes, you do. I'm sorry, excuse me. You do? What? I said you've got some money. Some change, at least. I don't have any money for you. I'm sorry. You can't keep running away. Are you afraid? Of you? Here's five dollars. You don't have to give me that much. I want to, for your bus. You're afraid to touch me. I didn't touch you. No. We touched the cup. Barely. You didn't want to touch the cup with your hand. taking a bus. You're in a train station. Trains don't take me where I'm going. That sounds poetic. Does it? Yeah. Like a song lyric? Buses are cheaper, that's all. Sometimes I see these signs and I think that people are lying. Do you always think people are lying? People are frightened of me. It upsets me. I'm dirty. I'm depressed. But mostly because I'm dirty and asking for help. People don't like to be asked for help. Why is that? How old am I? I don't know. No. Guess. I don't know. Come on. 22. 17. Oh, me too! Just turned it. So did I! Yeah? Yeah, in, in September? Wow, cool! It must be the same sign! Are you making fun of me? <laughs> A little. <laughs> Wanna sit down? Sure. Christmas present for your birthday. For my birthday. From my dad. That's cool. Why are you here? You know. Begging. I ran away about a year ago. Why? I didn't want to be home, I guess. How'd you do it? Do you I don't want to talk about it. I left with my boyfriend. Is he here? In Seattle. Is that where you're from? No, we're not together anymore. Do you ever want to go home? Never. Why not? That's just not an option for me. If you're homeless. I can't, okay? It's just not an option. Well, I don't think you should have done that. You shouldn't have run away. It's not fair. To who? To the people you left behind. You don't know why I left. So? Even if your parents were terrible, like they, I don't know, abused you, you can't just run away. Don't you have any friends? Isn't there anyone who might miss you? You can't just give up on people. You don't get to just disappear. I did. What do you do for money? Stuff. Like what? Use your imagination.
Sir. What are you doing? I'm giving you my turbo. Take it. I don't want it anymore. I don't need it. What do I need it for? You can sell it if you want. Can you sell it? Take the money. Go to Seattle. Thanks. I was gonna steal it, you know. When you slept here next to me, I was gonna steal it from you. I'm giving it to you. My name is Lauren Oglesby, a Fayette County High School graduate class of 2017. I decided to pursue my love for music by attending the illustrious Tuskegee University where I play in the Marching Crimson Piper Band. I decided to do band after college because of my everlasting love for music. If it hadn't been for the late night football games and early morning practices, I don't think I would have been able to form those lifelong bonds with my friends that I still talk to today. I also want to send another shout out to the past, present, and future Marching Tigers for dedicating your time to this band, which helps it to thrive tremendously. 
I want to leave you with this. I hope you guys have a great rest of the year and I love you guys tremendously and I cannot wait to come back to my alma mater to see you guys march across the field. Love you.